Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about five essential tools you need to know to build any shape you want in Affinity Designer. In this software, we don't have shape builder like in Adobe Illustrator. So we need to combine several different tools. This way we will be able to draw any shape we want. So let's start with the first essential tool. That's kind of obvious shape tool, right? So we can select the shape and then we can simply drag our mouse to draw a shape. We can hold the shift for proportion like this. That's obvious. But keep in mind, I think designer got multiple different shapes we can use, not only circle and square. So for example, we can start with donut tool like this and we already got hole inside the circle. That's very handy. In addition, you will see little orange points like this. If you see orange point, I mean, this is smart control point. We can quickly alter the shape using those orange points. All right. So that's kind of a big advantage here in Affinity Designer. We can use smart control points on our shapes. Let's try one more time with double star. Take a look how quickly I will transform this shape just by using those smart orange points. So we got double star here. And now by dragging this inside, I totally changed the shape. Now I can add some rotation to fit to our desired shape. All right. So don't forget, basic shape tool is quite powerful here in Affinity Designer. Always look for orange control points on your shapes. Second method you can use is to combine shapes. We already know how to draw shapes using shape tool. So now it's time to combine them. Let me just set up two different shapes here. So I got my circle and I will make square as well. And then we'll experiment with geometry tools also called Boolean operations. So if I put two shapes together like this, let me just make a spare copy of that. All right, after I select two shapes, I can go here and click add. This way I will unite them into one shape. Kind of opposite to this is action called subtract this way. I can cut out hole in one shape using another shape. Third action you need to know about is intersect. So if I click intersect, the third one, third icon on the list, I will get only the intersecting part. And opposite to that is XOR action. We will have everything else except the intersecting part like this. The last action is the most powerful one. Take a look. It will divide your shape into smaller pieces. So you can move everything separately now. Everything is divided. That's very handy. All right. So the second method of shape building is to use geometry operations. Third tool I want to mention is corner tool. That's right. Corner tool is not only for simply make a round corner on your rectangle like this on your square. Here it is, I select corner tool, then I can select corners and make them rounded. All right, that's one way to use it, but we can use it to build shapes as well. So I can round only two corners, not all four. And this way I can transform my square into kind of a leaf like shape very quickly. If I want to build a little shield shape like this, the corner tool is perfect. Take a look, I can round the bottom part of it. And then with the top part, we can apply different style of corner. There are several styles we can use with this tool. So first I will just drag it down with cut out corners and we got little shield very quickly. And the last one, it's also corner tool apply on very simple shape. So take a look, I will select this time. I'll select all four corners and then I can apply the corner tool and change the style after I apply that. This way you can make some kind of like cut it corners very quickly. All right. So don't forget about corner tool. Very important for shape building can boost your workflow. Next thing, pen and pencil tool. So pen tool is over here. Pen tool is go to tool. If you want to draw something organic yourself, you don't want to use built in to shapes. You don't want to merge shapes together. You just want to draw new shape yourself. This way you can do it quickly by adding nodes. Then you can close your shape. 
and you are ready to fill this in with a color and you got your custom shape. A very similar is pencil tool but in this case you will not be adding nodes but you will be drawing the line. Alright so it's a little bit different you don't have fully control on your nodes so it's kind of easier to use but the shapes are not that smooth. And big flaw here in, in Affinity Designer is they will not close automatically like with pen tool. Take a look. This is open shape. I cannot close it using pencil. I need to click here. Add. I need to use geometry function add to close the shape when I'm using pencil tool. Alright. And the last tool I need to mention while we're talking about shape building is no tool. So no tool will not create a new shape, but will modify existing one. So here's existing shape. I will expand to curves. And now I can use no tool. Look like a little white cursor over here. This way I can move my nodes to alter the shape. I can even click on the line to add new nodes like this very quickly. You can drag the line itself. You don't need to add new nodes like this. Without adding new nodes, you can drag, drag the line out very very handy tool to alter existing shapes. For example, if we start with triangle like this, we can convert this to curves. And now by no tool I can just drag the side of it up and I got new custom shape very quickly. We can also change curvy nodes to, to sharp nodes and other way around. So let's start with this circle we got all curvy nodes but I will modify two of them to be sharp. Over here you can click sharp and now we end up with sharp nodes at the top and the bottom of the shape. So we transform our circle into a totally new shape very quickly. So which method should you use? Actually you should combine all five methods this way you'll be able to draw any shape you like and then you can use those shapes Combine them into icons, logos, on illustrations. If you are interested in shape building in Affinity Designer, I'm happy to announce that I just released my very first Skillshare class and the topic of this class is shape building. So you can learn even more about using different tools and techniques to draw certain shapes. I even got a workbook that come along that you will be able to use and draw all shapes that you can see in the tutorial videos. So if you want to learn more about shape building and you want to support this channel, follow my link in the pinned comment down below. It will grant you one month of free access to Skillshare. That's totally enough time to finish this one and a half long shape building class. All right, guys, thank you for today and I will see you in my next tutorial.